welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. This crazy guy right here, you just seen the top of his head, is Bandit. And Chloe is um, just off doing Chloe things. But today I have my, if, my Ipsy Glam Bag X. So I wanted to get that open. I really don't have any makeup on today um, because I know that this is a makeup heavy box. So I wanted to maybe just do a little try on with you while we open it up. So I just have a little mascara because... Even if there is mascara in here, I don't necessarily want to open it up because I do have like three open right now. Um, and just some um, a dry concealer and that is it. So we open it up this far. It says Glam Bag X. And there is the inside. So there is a little magazine with your Glam Bag X. It does go over prices for any of the Glam Bag X exclusives. Hi. And this Glam Bag X is a collaboration with um, Halsey. Halsey? Halsey? And... There is just a little bit of information. So there are some things that Ipsy picks for you and some things that you pick. I feel like, what did I pick? Two maybe? Maybe three? I'm not really sure. All right. So I'm going to go over what's in the box. I don't know if I have add-ons in here or not, or if these are just all choice items. But anyway, I'm going to go over everything. If I have the prices, I'll let you know. So this was a um, Ipsy choice for me. And this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Port, uh, Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. That's a lot to say. I do love the Glow Recipe things. This has a value of $40. Is it $40? $40, yeah. Now the whole box costs $55, so right there you've got almost the price of your box just in one item. The inside on the Glow Recipe is always so cute. There is a little spatula and your product. And I love their watermelon product. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. So you can see it is a clay based, but it smells so delicious. Bandit, you can't see this, but Bandit is like standing up on my lap like he's waiting for something to happen. I'm not sure what. What are you waiting to happen, huh? Okay, next is the Define Me Kahana Aquamarine Crystal Infused Natural Perfume Mist. And I picked this because I just thought it was something different. I hope I like the scent of it. Um, there you go. So it does, as you can see, have the crystals in there. It didn't have a description of what it would smell like, so. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. That kind of smells like the ocean to me. Now I'll probably read it and it'll have like some like odd thing and I'll be like, oh no, I didn't smell that at all. But I believe this was a Glam Bag X exclusive. So it would be in here if it is. $40. It's a coconut, pink pepper, hibiscus, orchid, and aquamarine blend. And it smells like vacay in a bottle. So that beach smell is probably right about on. So $40 right there. So already there is the cost of my glam bag. Okay, next is the herbivore emerald. What is this on the front page? Um, Emerald Deep Moisture Glow Oil. All right, and this was one of their choices. I don't know if everybody got the top, the, the first four, their um, Halsey's Picks. And, oh, it says, based on your beauty quiz 
preferences. Halsey curated five of these products just for you. Okay, so there is that. And I'm not going to take it out just because I have so many different oils going. It does say it calms, soothes, nourishes, and moisturizes and even protects from environmental aggressors. There's hemp seed oil, squalene, turmeric root, and ashwagandha. So that is a value of $48. So there's four things here and then there's a bunch of things here and I guess you got five of out of, out of these. Because I know I also got the Fenty Mascara and this is the fruit full frontal volume lifting curl mascara valued at $24. I love this mascara. This is one of my favorites. I got it. I didn't get it. I didn't get the boxy premium with Fenty collaboration, but I got this sometime after in one of my other boxes. I'm not going to open it up. It is one of my favorites. The brush is kind of like an odd shape. Let's see. You can't really tell on there. I'll show you the picture, but um, it's like thick, but then almost like flat on one side. So there is the brush right there. And you can't really see it on there, but this, if you did get this, like this is one of my favorite mascaras. And then next is the... Um, Ather Beauty Moonlight Crystal Palette. And there's a little card on there. And it has a little something on the back. Here is the outside, so it kind of looks like it's shaped like a crystal. And then on the inside, there are all these colors, no mirror, which doesn't bother me because I mean, sometimes I do use the mirror just to get kind of a close-up look, but it doesn't matter to me either way if I have one or not. And that is valued at $58. They are vegan ingredients, sustainable packaging, and crystal-infused pow powders. And it does have a tip. It says to dip your brush in face oil to transform these shadows into a molten-like cream. All right, next by Wander Beauty, the Skyliner Automatic Gel Eyeliner. Automatic, just do it for my, do it for me. Do I just open it up and it jumps on my eyes? Am I reading that wrong? Let's see. Nope, it says Automatic Gel Eyeliner in Napa Nights. All right. Ooh. I think that's going to be purple. Okay. There that is. All right. So it is a purple. It's very creamy. Goes on very easily. All right, I don't see this listed anywhere. I don't know. I think this might have been an add-on, but I don't really know. How many? I'm not sure. But anyway, this is in there too. This is the Beauty For Real uh, um, Olive Eyeline 24-7 Gel Eyeliner. All right, so there is that color. And there that is. You can see both of them on there. Maybe I'll play around and use both. All right. Next is the About Face Light Lock Powder in Smoother. It came in either Smoother, Stars on Fire, or This Bliss. And this is valued at $30. And look, there's a little, you don't even have to fight with it. There's a little tab pull it open. So it looks like one color was a purple, one was a white, so it might have been translucent, and one was kind of a golden color. I'll show you the picture. 
here is the picture of the three different colors. So I don't know which one I got. Here it is. So it's kind of like shaped, that's like on an angle. And it looks like I got the, maybe it's a pink and not a purple. I don't know. But there is that. Here is that on. And then it's just a little bit of a shine. Kind of, there you go. You can kind of see that. It says, apply this on your cheeks, chin, nose, and eyes for a megawatt glow. Is this another choice? I don't know. Um, this is the Grow Long um, Super Fast Strength Leave-In Conditioner. It detangles, reduces breakage, frizz, and split ends. It's got caffeine and ginseng. I don't know if this was an add-on maybe that I grabbed for like three or five dollars. So I'm pretty sure that wasn't one of the choice items. The last thing by Complex Culture is a four-piece brush set. I think this was my other choice item because I do love the complex culture brushes. So we have this one. This is the precision eyelid brush. This is the All Over Highlight Powder Brush. It's nice and soft. And I like how they're protected too. This one is the All Over Shadow. So this one is a little firm, but overall soft. And then this last one is the Easy Crease Definer. I like when the brush tells me, so at least I have some clue as to what I'm supposed to be using for what. Because honestly, I don't always know. All right, there we go. And this is, oh, that's very, very um, stiff, which I guess was what you would want for that. And... I don't see this listed anywhere either. So some of the other things that you could have gotten was the About Face Light Lock Highlight Fluid in Flight or Flight, Shaken or Stirred, and Sunstruck for $32. Um, it's a gold liquid that you can use as an illuminating base, intense highlighter, or glow booster in your foundation. The Tatcha Silk Finish Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer for $52. The Herbivore Botanicals Lapis Blue Tansy Oil for $72. The Volition Beauty um, Yapon Tea Awakening Glow Moisturizer for $39. The Dr. Brandt Skin Care Do Not Age Triple, Lifted, Triple Peptide Eye Cream for $82. The New Company Barrier Culture Cleanser for $42. So these are some of the other items that you could have received based upon the, the five choices that they made. And then, I'm not going to go over all of these, but on the inside it does go over some of the other choices that might have been offered to you. Um, I know some of these were offered to me, not all of them. Um, I'm pretty sure they, they had offered me as far as my choices, the Charlotte Tillsbury Lip Liner, which I don't really use a lot of lip liner, so I didn't grab that. Um, what else looks familiar? Maybe the Violet Boss eyelashes. So they'll offer different things to different people. They won't necessarily offer like everybody these items. There was a lip sleeping mask in apple lime and berry. Ooh, that sounds nice. That's probably something I would have chosen. Um, even the bag is a choice item. That was not offered as a choice item, probably because I haven't chosen it in the past. Um, 
Ooh, this Tarte um, Clay Pot Waterproof Shadow Liner in Rose Gold. That looks really pretty with that. So anyway, there's you know a lot of other things you could have gotten. And they just offer you, you know, a few different things based upon your profile. But I am very happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try the eyeliner, the um, highlighter. Is that a highlighter? I don't know, the powder and the eyeshadow. I'm going to start with... Now, I did also put on um, an oil-based um, eye foundation. A Cure, I think it's, no, A-Q-U-R, A-K-U-R. Um, not the Acure, A-C-U-R-E, but the, it's A-K-U-R. Anyway, it's an oil-based, ooh. Um, primer and it helps keep the eyeshadow on all day, it helps it go on smooth. I find that it retains more color um, and helps from the kind of creasing look that can happen. All right, so I'm just gonna start in with the eyeshadow and I think I'm gonna start with this pinkish color right here as kind of a, a starting point. And I've got my little five below mirror right here, so. And what I'm gonna do just for fun is I'm just gonna do that kind of line it look where you do just different lines and then you blend it in. So I have that first layer on and next I'm going to do a purple. So I'm going to do this one right here and it starts off looking kind of like stripey but then when you put a do an all over blend it looks really nice all right Next, I think I'm going to go in for this green right here, because why not, right? So you can see we got that. Oh, it's looking bold. So hopefully, I was going to say, trust me, it'll all look good in the end, but I don't know because I've, I've done this before, but never with such a bold kind of um, eye color. All right, I'm going to go in. I'm just going with all the shimmers. I just love the shimmers. I'm going with that blue shimmer because it intrigues me. So you can see we're starting to look a little heavy duty here. And then I think I'm going to finish it up with this dark purple right here. All right, now we got a rainbow look going. Look at that.
Okay, so I have all these very bold colors on my eyes. And now I'm going to take one of my blender brushes. I'll take this, oh, this brand new one. This is a all over, I'm going to take the all over shadow brush. And I'm going to just blend it all in. So I'm just going to move it back and forth. And it's going to lighten up that look. And it's still a, a darker look than I would normally wear. But this was more for fun. Although I have to make a video after this, so it's going to be the same look. I don't know which one I'll post first, but... Anyway, I have a wonderful edit, so it will... You will be seeing it in that. Alright, I'm going to take this new brush and I'm going to do just like the highlighting there. And I'm just going to use that light pink again just for that kind of under the brow area. And then I think I'm going to throw like a like a, one of these two grays into the crease, maybe the darker one, just to kind of use this crease brush and see. And then I'm going to go back over it all again with that one brush. I never really do a crease. But, all right, we're going to come back over it again with a good blending brush. I'm going to get something a little bit stiffer than I used the last time. I'm going to take this one, which is a little bit stiffer than the last one I used, and just kind of blend away. All right, so... Again, certainly darker than I would usually do, but I mean, that's just to kind of play around with these colors. I probably wouldn't mix so many different colors together, but it was fun. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this purple eyeliner. So I've got the purple eyeliner, and then, just for fun, probably wouldn't usually do this, but I'm going to take this green and just do a thin line uh, maybe over it, and then I'm going to smudge that in a little bit. All right, so I kind of did that green line. I don't know how close I'm getting to the camera for that, but... Hopefully close enough that you can see. And then I'm going to take a nice stiff brush and I'm just going to smudge that a little bit to kind of lighten up the look. And next we're going to take this and I'm just going to do an all over face. All right, so I'm going to take this all over brush. I just love, I just love the, I just want to look at this. And I'm just going to kind of do an all over look. And I'm just going to go over the eyes because it said to go over the eyes with this. So, you know, why not? Gonna be, I should just title this. Why not? All right, I didn't get any lip product, so plain lips. I didn't bring any lips, lip products out with me, but that is the look I created. And again, I think there's just so much fun you can have with this. I mean, this could be like a if I were going out, 
like out somewhere fancy out I might do something darker like this this wouldn't be an everyday look for me I do go with a much more kind of natural look even the, my eyelashes today are just one I didn't even use the um, fortifying lashes um, you know the primer so I usually put on a primer and then I put on the mascara so I didn't even do that um, but you know I could certainly do something like that if I were going out Oops, see, now I gotta mess with it because it looks too dark. Um, but it, it will be in my next video. So, all right, well, thanks so much for tuning in and let me know if you got your Glam Bag X, what you got, what you were most excited about. I really like everything I got in here. Again, I know that a couple of things, I'm pretty sure the Beauty For Real um, Olive Eyeliner was a $3 add-on and I'm pretty sure that this was a three, I think a $3 add-on as well. Um, I don't know about this. Maybe it what? Maybe this was a choice item, because I feel like I did choose something, and I was like, well, I know it's not expensive, but it's what I want, so I'm just gonna choose that because I, the bag already packs a huge punch, so it's not like I need to get the most expensive items in there. Um, I like to get the things I'm gonna use the most, so and I knew I was gonna love. Um, this because it was not black. I do like black eyeliner. I do use black eyeliner almost every day, but I do like to kind of just do a line over it of something lighter to kind of um, neutralize it. In, in my mind, at least it neutralizes it. It makes it less harsh to me. So I didn't do anything under my eye. I don't typically, I always feel like it just doesn't look right. Sometimes I'll put something under there, but usually I don't. Maybe a little bit of eyeliner at the most. Um, I know I've seen people put shadow under there. It just always kind of looks odd on me. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I don't, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, but, um, but that's why I didn't do that. And I really do think that kind of striping technique and then blending it all in is very fun. Again, it won't always look this dark if you're using lighter colors or if you're using, um, more neutrals and just like one kind of pow color which is what I typically do like I'll usually use neutrals and then put one like pow color in there and then blend it out and um and it does come up with a nice look and I believe the first person I saw to do that was Ambazar um Amber um Ambazar's DIY and other stuff so thank you I think she saw it on TikTok or something and tried it but I know she did in the um Dollar Tree collaboration and I was like that's really cool let me try that so um so thank you for that technique all right, thanks so much for tuning in. Please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the notification bell, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.